The Explore scientific range of high performance refractors are used by many Astro images, and for good reason. They are excellent performers, are well priced in the busy refractor market, and they come in aluminium and carbon fiber variants across a wide range of apertures. From the tiny 80mm triplet to the 127 that you see behind me, and all the way up to a monster 152mm carbon fiber version. While the supplied stock focuses are not bad, particularly for visual use, many images who run heavy camera loads and demand high performance from their equipment, change these out as for an aftermarket one, usually from places like Moonlight or Feather Touch. That was until today. I've got some exclusive news from Explore Scientific about their all new high performance focuser in today's program. This is really exciting and I'm proud to offer you this first look at this new product. So let's dig into the details right now. Hey everybody, my name's Simon and welcome to Astroworks, your friendly guide to the world of astronomy full of hints and tips on how to get the best out of this amazing hobby. I've been a long time user of Explore Scientific Telescopes and it's a brand that I started out imaging with many years ago. I still use my faithful friend here, which is the Carbon Fiber 127 version, and it's one of my main workhorses as it matches really nicely with the ZWO294MM and the 2600. These are two of my main cameras, and they produce some amazing images. But like many, I quickly replaced the stock focuser with an aftermarket one for more precise imaging. And I've mainly used moonlights on my rigs as I found them to be very precise and also allowed me to add focusing motors to Fourier to make my imaging. So I was honored last year to be asked by Tyler to help explore test a new high performance focuser that they've been working on. And over the past 18 months or so, we've developed and extensively tested their pre-production version to confirm the design. This week, I was very excited to receive the final production version, which I'm going to do a first look and unveiling for you. And if you're an imager, I think this focuser will offer an excellent upgrade to the stock version and provide a fabulous alternative which Explore Scientific users will want to consider for their rigs. So let's take a look at the new Explore Scientific Ultra Glide 3 inch self-centering focuser and what it offers. Firstly, it's extremely well built. This thing is a beast. It's machined from aluminium and weighs just under three kilos. That's 6.6 .6 pounds in Tyler's money including the tube adapter for my 127, and it's finished in a very nice matte black color scheme. The UltraGlide mounts the tube using an adapter, and in the case of the 127, the focuser is secured using four nylon tip thumb screws. This makes fitting somewhat easier as you don't have to try and support all that weight while trying to hold the focuser, a hex spanner, and that tiny screw you just know that it's gonna take a trip across the observatory floor. While we have the adapter off, you can see the nylon ring that acts as both a gasket and and allows easy rotation of the focuser if you want to change camera angles or balance the focuser in a different position. The focuser draw tube is an incredible 10 millimeters thick and the inside is lined with baffles to reduce reflections. The rear of the focuser body has a silver ring to provide a self-centering locking system to the draw tube. Rotating this creates a braking tension of the focuser draw tube while maintaining a perfect center. The rear of the draw tube has a capstan style self-centering system too with a three inch or 76 millimeter diameter aperture. The focuser comes complete with an additional two inch lock adapter that takes three inches down to two and that's for use with cameras or visual accessories such as eyepieces and diagonals. It locks in the same way with a quick turn of the capstan, centering the accessory accurately and without the use of thumb screws. These can sometimes create offsets if poorly tightened. For imaging use, the three inch locking ring adapter can be removed entirely and replaced with a threaded adapter. In my case, I used it with my three inch 0.7 reducer that uh, uses a 76 millimeter thread. This provides an accurate threaded connection, maintaining that perfect center line throughout. The draw tube is operated by a buttery smooth rack and pinion focuser and comes with a large 10 to one ratio slow motion drive. One of the things that Tyler was keen to see in the new focuser was support for aftermarket focus motors like the ZWO EAF and Explorer have added multiple holes in the focuser body to support it. This allows easy fitment of the EAF bracket. It was a simple task to fit the bracket to the focuser body with the bolts supplied in the kit. No need to change screw sizes or lengths this time. 
I fitted mine in just a few minutes with the standard parts in the kit. I've been using the pre-production version of the Ultra Glide for some time and I've been very impressed by it. The focus curves from it are always accurate and they give me excellent star shapes. I don't experience any focus shift or sag when imaging, even with heavier loads, and I love the threaded connections to my focal reducer, ensuring that I maintain an even star field at any angle that the telescope is operated in. I think the Ultra Guide is a long overdue upgrade option for images wanting to carry heavier loads on their Explore Scientific refractors and one that will definitely be a popular upgrade. The Ultra Guide Focuser will be available initially for the larger ES-127 and 152 range of refractors and should be available from stock around the end of February, priced just over $1,000. If you're interested, I'd recommend reaching out to explore quickly as I feel this will be a popular upgrade to a high performance focuser without the long wait while other vendors are producing their focusers from scratch. Reach out to Tyler today as pre-orders are already open. If you enjoyed today's video, then please give that like button a thump. And if you want to see more of this kind of material, then we highly recommend you subscribe so that we can notify you of new content as soon as we publish it. Until then, thanks for watching and clear skies from New Zealand. <laughs>